Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the month, let us consecrate ourselves to the most sacred heart of Jesus, a heart that is burning with love and mercy for all of us. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist by acknowledging our sins and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love that conform to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Anna sat watching the road, by which her son was to come. When she saw him coming, she exclaimed to his father, Tobit, your son is coming, and the man who traveled with him. 
Raphael said to Tobiah before he reached his father. I am certain that his eyes will be opened. Smear the fish gall on them. This medicine will make the cataracts shrink and peel off from his eyes. Then your father will again be able to see the light of day. Then Anna ran up to her son, threw her arms around him and said to him, Now that I have seen you again, son, I am ready to die. And she sobbed aloud. Tobit got up and stumbled out through the courtyard gate. Tobiah went up to him with a fish gall in his hand and holding him firmly, blew into his eyes. Courage, father, he said. Next he smeared the medicine on his eyes and it made them smart. Then, beginning at the corners of Tobit's eyes, Tobiah used both hands to peel off the cataracts. When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around him and wept. He exclaimed, I can see you, son, the light of my eyes. Then he said, Blessed be God, and praised be his great name, and blessed be all his holy angels. May his holy name be praised throughout all the ages, because it, it, it was he who scourged me, and it is he who has had mercy on me. Behold, I now see my son Tobiah. Then Tobit went back in, rejoicing and praising God, with full voice for everything that had happened. Tobiah told his father that the Lord had granted him a successful journey, that he had brought back the money, and that he had married Ragul's daughter, Sarah, who would arrive shortly, for she was approaching the gate of Nineveh. Tobit and Anna rejoiced and went out to the gate of Nineveh, to meet their daughter-in-law. When the people of Nineveh saw Tobit walking along briskly with no one leading him by the hand, they were amazed. Before them all, Tobit proclaimed how God had mercifully restored sight in his eyes. When Tobit reached Sarah, the wife of his son Tobiah, he greeted her. Welcome, my daughter. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. Blessed is your father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, and blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessing and joy. Come in, daughter. That day, there was joy for all the Jews who lived in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we continue to listen to the story of the family of Tobit. And in the section of the book of Tobit that we heard this morning, the son of Tobit, Tobiah, went home to his parents. Tobit and Anna. And upon the instruction of Raphael, who now we claim to be an archangel, Tobiah healed his father Tobit. Upon the instruction of Raphael, Tobiah smeared fish gall into the eyes of his father and he Tobit regained his sight pinahiran ng abdo ng isda at dahil dito si Tobit ay gumaling at muling nakakita at sino ang gumawa nito sa kanya ang kanyang anak na si Tobaya. Tobaya also brought with him as he went home his wife, Sarah. And when Tobit and Anna saw Sarah, their daughter-in-law, they were so happy and they considered Sarah as a blessing and a source of joy to their family. Tuwang-tuwa ang mag-asawa si Tobit at si Anna dahil sa kanilang daughter-in-law. Sana lahat ng mother at father-in-law at daughter-in-law, ganyan ang tingin sa isa't isa. Sana masasabi ng mga mother at father-in-law sa kanilang daughter-in-law, You are a blessing to our family. You are a source of joy for us. And so it was a reunion of healing of joy, of fulfillment brought by Tobiah and Sarah to their parents, Tobit and Anna. In our Gospel today, Jesus speaks of the Christ, the Messiah, who the scribes claim to be the son of David. But Jesus points out that while David is considered the greatest king of Israel, the Messiah who will come from the line of David will be greater than David. 
The Christ, who is the son of David, is called Lord by David himself. Ang tagapagligtas, ang Mesiyas na manggagaling sa lipi ni David, ay hihigitan pa si David. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today tell us how the younger generations became an improvement to humanity. Tobiah healed his father. Tobiah and Sarah brought joy and fulfillment to their parents. And Jesus brought perfection to the lineage of David. The younger generation improved the older generation. I remember what the philosopher scientist Teilhard de Chardin said, Every child born into this world is an attempt of the whole universe to produce a better humanity. Ang bawat sanggol daw na isinisilang sa daigdig na ito ay ang pagsusumikap ng buong sang tinakpan na magkaroon ng mas mabuting sangkatauhan. And so, every generation should be an improvement to humanity. Every generation should make humanity and the world better. Kaya magandang tingnan natin ang ating henerasyon. Tayo na nandito sa mundo ngayon, are we an improvement to the development of humanity? Are we an improvement to this world? Or have we relapsed? Have we regressed instead of progressing? Have we become better? Or has the world worsened because of us? Sana ang henerasyon natin ay lalong nagpapaunlad, lalong nagpapabuti ng mundo at ng sangkatauhan. Habang umiikot ang kasaysayan ng mundo, pabuti ng pabuti, paganda ng paganda ang mundo at ang sangkatauhan. Nakakalungkot na sa halip na improvement, tayo pa ang nagiging dahilan ng relapse. Hindi umuunlad, bumabalik pa sa nakaraan. Walang pag-unlad na nangyayari. My dear brothers and sisters, we are born into this world according to the plan and the will of God so that we may become improvements to humanity, to make humanity better, to make our world better. And so today, let us strive to be better. Let us end this day when we sleep tonight. May we be able to tell God, Lord, by the things I did today, I have made my family better. I have made society better. I have made the world better according to your plan. Let us strive every day to work for healing, to work for restoration and unity, to work for mercy and charity, to work for justice and peace. By doing this, we, we, we will be able to make humanity better, to make our world better.
Please stand. It is our faith in Jesus, the Christ of God, which unites us all members of this community. In his name, let us bring our intentions before the Father, as we all together say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church leaders may be zealous in proclaiming the truth of the divinity of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unity, <coughs> peace, and harmony may become a reality, especially in nations where people suffer discrimination on account of race, gender, class, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ, calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge you as our only Lord. Keep us under your care and grant the prayers we have made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from His pierced side, the wellspring of the Church's sacraments, so that, won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.